I believe most of you watching this video right now are Windows 10 users and there's one key that I think you probably don't care about using it or disable it because it is simply a nuisance and that is the window key. Now you might say, hey Warren, isn't that just a key that calls out the start menu? I know that sounds like a very no reply, but to be honest, the Windows key has a lot of features under Windows 10. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you 10 things that you can do with Windows 10 that could potentially enhance your productivity when working on Windows 10. So here we go. Now, the first feature that I would like to show with the Windows key is entering emojis. And all you need to do is to tap on the Windows key and the period key on your keyboard. And here comes up the emoji panel. And all you need to do is to search for the emoji that you really want. No need to browse through the entire library. All you need to do is to just type. Now, for example, if I want to search for love related emojis, all I need to do is to type L-O-V-E and it shows me 29 emojis. And I just pick the one and tap on enter and enter and enter. And that's how I insert my emojis into my documents, text, and emails. And once I'm done, I simply tap on the escape button and I'm done with entering emojis into my text field. I bet most of you do not know that Windows 10 has a built-in clipboard manager. And in order to do that, all you need to do is to tap on the Windows and V key on your keyboard. And here comes up all your previous screenshots and copy text. And all you need to do is to click on them and it will be inserted into your document or text field. So most of the time, we have our frequent use apps saved as a shortcut on our desktop or pin it to the taskbar. Now, what if you have an active window and don't want to go all the way back to the start menu or to your desktop to access that app? You pin it to the taskbar, of course, and whereby your taskbar is always visible, you can actually launch the app by just using the Windows key instead of moving your cursor all the way down to get access to the app. And to do that, you tap on the Windows key and according to the number of the app that you want to launch. Now, for instance, if I want to launch Google Chrome, it is the second app on my taskbar. So all I need to do is to tap on the Windows key and press on number two on my keyboard and it will launch Google Chrome. If I want to launch the remaining ones, let's say File Explorer, I tap on Windows and three, Windows Store, Windows and 4, Windows Mail, Windows and 5, and that's how it's done. It's really simple and straightforward. Now, there's a better way of capturing screenshots with the Windows key, and all you need to do is to tap on the Windows key, Shift and S key on your keyboard, and the screen will turn down. So you get four types of snips here. So you can either choose a rectangular snip, a free from snip, Windows snip, or a full screen snip. Now let's say if I want to do a Windows name, I tap on the Windows name and choose on the window or application that I want it to capture, tap on it, and it will copy that window onto my clipboard and I can still go inside and do some markups. Like if I want to circle this entire area, I could just circle it. And finally, I'll save this entire screenshot into a file to be sent to my friends and family to show them what I want them to see on screen. Now. Assuming you are a little lazy to type a short text or sentence in an email or a document, you can take advantage of Windows 10's dictation feature by tapping on the Windows key and H key on your keyboard. Let me show you how. Hey guys, how are you doing? Question mark. My name is Warren Lee and I am doing a video of Windows 10 and teaching you guys how to use it better. Period. And that's pretty much how it is done. Pretty simple, right? Next, I want to show you quickly on how you can get quicker access to your file explorer and Windows settings. So to get quick access to file explorer, all you need to do is to tap on the Windows key and E key. To get the Windows setting, all you need to do is to tap on the Windows key and I. And here comes both the File Explorer and Windows setting with these two hotkeys. The next feature I'm going to show you is a very useful one if you have multiple PCs that is signed into the same Microsoft account and would like to access historical files and websites that you have access on those devices. Now all you need to do is to call out the task view by tapping on the Windows and Tab key. 
Now by all means, this is an app switcher and a desktop management feature. But as you scroll down, you can actually find recent activities that you have done on this current PC and other devices that you're signing with your Microsoft account. Now let's take a look at April 2nd, which I've done quite a few activities on this PC. So I've actually accessed my Excel files, my PDF files, Photoshop, played some videos on it. As far as accessing web pages, no, I didn't access anything on Microsoft Edge. So it does not support Google Chrome, but as long as you're using some of these supported applications, so you can definitely access them inside here. So it's actually pretty useful if you can't remember on where you save those files. And this feature will help you help remind you on where you actually save them and get access to them as soon as you can. Coming to the 8th feature of the Windows key, I think this is the most underrated one of all, and that is the Talk to Cortana key, where you can actually access by tapping on this button, but if you want to do it through the Windows key, all you need to do is to tap on Windows and the C key on your keyboard to talk to Cortana. Now Cortana is just like Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa where it provides you information when you ask it to. What is the weather for today? The forecast shows partly sunny skies with a high of right, 92 and a low of 77 with a slight chance of rain. Now let's do another one. Right now. Go to klgadgetguy.com. All right, that's not pretty accurate, but still there. You still managed to do that. All right, let's do another one. One US dollar to Malaysian ringgit. One US dollar equals 4.334 Malaysian ringgits. Okay, that's pretty high for today. All right, that's how you call Cortana, and it's a pretty useful voice assistant that I think people should try to use it. Window management is extremely important to stay focused and stay productive on Windows 10. Now you can use this window management feature by snapping all these windows to either the right or left or the top right, top left of your monitor by just using the Windows key. So assuming I want to do that to Google Chrome which I have open right now, all I need to do is to tap on the Windows key and tap on the right directional key on my keyboard and probably Microsoft Edge, I'll do it on the left, it automatically goes to that view. But what if I want more space for more apps? I can do that as well. So let me just tap on the window key and tap up. And there you go, I have more space right here and I can choose the second app to go to the bottom left of the screen. Let me just tap on the other Chrome app. And the same thing goes for my right panel as well. I'm just gonna tap, uh, let's do down this time, bottom, and let go of the window key and I can choose another app to be active on the top right. Now, isn't that a useful feature? You can actually have four windows active at the same time so that you don't actually lose focus of what you are working on. Windows 10 has a built-in screen recorder feature that is well hidden away because it isn't actually a screen recorder feature per se because it can't record an entire desktop. And the reason why I am recording it in this way because it conflicts with my screen recording app right there. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first of all, you need to open an app that you wish to record your actions on or a game. You can do that as well because it's part of Windows 10's gaming feature. And to access that, all you need to do is to call the game bar by tapping on the Windows and G key. Now this is what happens and something that I can't show using my screen rec recording app on my PC. Now it might look a little overwhelming to some of you users out there, especially for those who don't game on Windows. So the thing is that all you need to do is to focus on this dialog here, the capture dialog, where there are four buttons here. So I have Chrome activated. All I need to do is to just tap on this record button. And after that, when it's recording, all I need to do is to tap back on Chrome and I can do whatever activities that I want, scroll through my web page, go back up, go back to my main page. And once I'm done with all that action, all I need to do is to tap on this stop button on the right and it will be saved to my PC under this PC videos and the captures folder. So the recording quality of the screen recorder feature is actually pretty good. Um, it doesn't have any wash up colors and it records at 30 frames per second, pretty smooth. So it's not some crappy screen recording feature that you find on some free apps out there. 
So these are the 10 things you can do with the Windows key on Windows 10. So I hope it has been helpful in improving your productivity while working on Windows 10. Now that's pretty much for today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you like what you saw. And remember to follow us on the usual social media channels. I'm Warren with KL Gadget TV and I'll see you in the next video.